what's up people season girl here again with the video for you guys and i guess i just want to show you guys one of the indie games that i got on the, win, on the wii u in the indie section and this game nano assault is really really fun it they say it's an arcade style game where you just go in and shoot up a bunch of things and try to Try to survive and last as long as you can. So you start off. You're in a you're in a plane and you're trying to collect the green discs or coins you're going to use to use in your shop to level up your plane and add more, like get more power ups and um, level get more guns to shoot and take out the other enemies. So what I try to do when I start off is take out these the blue orbs and the purple orbs. Pick those all out. And you see items drop drop on the cell and I pick those up. And that way it level up my my plane. So now I have two satellites on the side of my plane, and they all are armed with guns, and they help me shoot, shoot and take out the enemies. So and you can get up to four. You get up four satellites to use. You says four basically four turrets. You have along with yourself. So five guns shooting to take out these cells. And once on the on the left side, you see as that bar is going up. This is ninety eight one percent. The exit opens up and now I can go to the next area. I can go there right away or try to clear up more stuff and level up my score. Now when you first when you first playing this, you probably just want to run through, try to get through the game as far as you can just get used to the mechanics of, and uh, running around and the enemies and learn how the enemies are moving and shooting and what happens when you shoot them. So like right now I'm shooting this plant thing out of the ground but it's shooting back at me. And I'm trying to get as much points as I can before I go to the exit and plus try to pick up more more uh, points to shoot in the shop to level up my plane. But you gotta get there for the the time it goes out, otherwise you gotta start all over everything over. Now I'm in a shop. Usually I try to get an extra satellite if I don't have four already and a shield. It really helps me out in the next area. Now this next area is a little bit a little bit harder but uh, I try to still I have like a, now I level up my plane it's it's makes it a lot easier. I have a shield and I have Two, two satellites now, so I can shoot them and get through things pretty quickly. Like I said, you want to make sure you pay attention to the left side, the percentage that's going up. Because when that, like I said, those enemies are enough enemies are cleared out, then your, that exit is going to open up. And on your Wii U gamepad, it's going to show you the whole map of the cell, where all the enemies are located. So you can, it makes it real easy to find where everything's at and take everything out. Now I'm getting hit a, it's getting hit a lot, but I have this this power up where I use I press ZR and it takes out a lot of enemies at once, especially that big fish fish I it's called fish head, fish head. But um little things like a big snail or whatever, I take take it out and because otherwise you're not using that. That thing has a really burst and, and it takes you out pretty quickly. So now the next thing is that it opened up and I can go right away to it. Or I said try to get more items to level up and try to get more things to take to the shop, which I want to do before. I have time, 25 seconds, 30 seconds, you have enough time to try to clear out more more items, more cells and take them out and pick up more stuff before you get to the exit. So I would recommend recommend doing that before you go in if there's stuff close around to the exit. See now a little snail thing is blocking the exit. And so I gotta take that out. I got more points anyways, but I also got the bonus. So while I was running, running flying around, I spelled out the word bonus, there's little discs that drop down. So you want to pick those up and you get into this bonus round. Now in the bonus round, what you're going to do is you're going to basically just move your plane around and try to pick up the coins. You just go around and you try to last as long as you can before crashing because you crash, that's it, game over. You want to try to get as many of this as you can because that's going to be your money to level up the shop to go to the next round. So it's it's just pretty much basic luck, but uh, I did I did pretty good on on this one. I think I went lasted the farthest on on this time around. So yeah, this bonus round makes you real dizzy. Forty seconds. Yeah, that was the longest time I, I did was forty. It was forty seconds. The best things on here are the Karen Q and the, 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 the satellites. You want to try to get all four satellites if you can. I 
And this healing cell is, is pretty easy. It's not as hard as I think the, the previous one. You can pretty much move around and, and get around things a lot easier. But it's it's small. It's a smaller map, so it's pretty pretty tight. But like I said, I try to take out those blue orbs and try to get all the money I can. And I have the the ray now, so I use that pressing ZR, and it's like a little blast that comes out and uh, takes out a lot of enemies too. I think I got through this one pretty quick, but you just gotta watch out for those termite things because they shoot and also they explode, so they can they can hurt you. So the name of this game is just pretty much dodge, 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 and shoot everything. It's super, super fun. And this one, I noticed that um, it takes a lot. It's just a little bit longer for things to spawn, so it's a little bit slower map. And so, as your partner, you're watching your progress for your progress uh, bar on the left. It's pretty much going pretty pretty slow. But as they get to a certain level, like I said the eggs is going to open up and you get to go to the last level and face the boss. So you want to make sure you get every all the money you can for your shop and level up your plane and get as much guns as you can and a shield, and that'll help you take out the boss pretty quick. Now on this map I played it a couple times so I was able to get my score up a little bit. But some of these people are looking on leaderboards and they got it into like the millions, like two, three millions. I don't know how they did that. I think the highest I got was like 900, 900,000. So these guys must be playing a lot, a lot to get get up there. But because I, I took my even took my time and trying to just try to get as much of the items I can and still I couldn't break that that uh, million dollar million 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 points. Mark, so I don't know. So now we can level up our plane one last time and try to take out this boss as quickly as possible. All right, now Charlie just—it's not so bad at a boss. I mean, he's got these four sensitive areas, red rings you gotta take out on its legs. So once you take those out, the boss goes down. But it's shooting like this turret-style gun, and it's chasing you. And this area is so small, so you pretty much gotta keep moving. And luckily, I had enough health to try to get around, get around it. Because otherwise, I don't die. I don't know how I barely made it through this. I just wanna go on upside down and still trying to stay focused on those those red balls on his legs. Yeah, but it's not a bad boss. Once you get there, I get, I think like I said the second level one here was the hardest, pretty harder harder than the uh, the boss. So yeah guys, if you like this mix of kind of games, you know, check it out in the eShop it's nine ninety nine. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And on the next part of the video, I'll probably show the next map, which is the Zeta map. Uh, I'm gonna lock it, lock the map at a time. I've locked, I locked all the maps so far. So, but I'll see you guys next video.